A big Christmas welcome to Steve's Kitchen. Today we're going to make some delicious mince pies, one of my favourites. And I'm going to be using that homemade mince meat we made the other day on the channel. Now, I may decide to make two different types of mince pie. This one is my favourite. It's not a sweet pastry, it's a little bit savoury actually, but it still absolutely melts in your mouth. And inside you've got that lovely sweet mince meat, so sort of juxtaposition, a little bit of dusted sugar over the top. You really can't beat these. I'm going to show you how to make them now. They're too hot for me to try. I'll try them at the end of the show. We're going to start with a pound of all-purpose flour in a mixing bowl. That's around 450 grams. Now in with our flour we want to add some fats. I'm actually using lard and butter. You could use all butter if you like. So we've got 230 grams, that's eight ounces of butter and lard combined. Now all you need to do now is just take your fats and just rub them into the flour. A lot of people do this in a food processor, but to do this by hand, it always makes just better pastry and it's so simple to do. So it really only takes a few moments and you end up with this beautiful loose breadcrumb. To get a wonderful melt in the mouth pastry, we don't want to overhandle this. What I'm gonna do now is use some cold water. I'm probably gonna add about eight tablespoons in. I'll start with four or five. And just use a blunt knife or a spatula to cut through the crumbs until this starts to form into balls. Now you can see here it's a little dry on the outside so I might add just another couple of tablespoons of cold water and that should probably just about do it. Yep, I'm happy with that. I'll just pull the knife out and now I'm not going to overwork this but I'm going to pull this pastry together. Now you can see the pastry is still nice and light and crumbly. I'm just going to chill this for a little while in the fridge before we start to roll it out. Now that's been in the fridge about 20 minutes and it's firmed up a little bit. Dust the counter with a little bit of flour. So I'm just going to use the edge of my hands just to pack this to a square sort of shape. And don't worry about the edges. If they crack a little bit, you can just push them together. It's quite normal with a short crust pastry. A little dusting of flour on top as well. And of course, some on the rolling pin. And we're just going to continue rolling this out until we get to about a quarter of an inch. And if the edges crack, as I say, you can just use the side of your hands to push them together. It's important, as I've said, don't overwork this dough. And don't film while you're doing it because somebody's going to turn up and you're going to have to pack everything away and start again. So possibly I have overworked my dough because I've rolled it out twice, which I don't like to do. Now just come down here. I think the dough is still good though. I'm going to cut out 24 circles. 12 of them will be slightly bigger. You can see the thickness we're looking at. It's about just over a quarter of an inch. I've cut out 12 circles, about three and a half, and 12 that are about three inches. The reason is because I've got these fairly deep patty pans here. What I'm going to do is just push uh, the larger piece into the patty pan, and it doesn't matter if it sinks a little bit below the edge, that's all good. And then I've got that fresh homemade mince meat. Now it's not as dark because it's not aged as much as I'd like it to, but it still tastes absolutely gorgeous. We want to put a nice big teaspoon, maybe even a teaspoon and a half to two teaspoons in there. I don't want to underfill these, but at the same time, you don't want to overfill them because as the liquid bubbles up, it'll push the lid off. Now I've got an egg yolk here, which I've added a little bit of water to. I'm just going to give it a mix through. I have my pie top, a little silicon brush. I'm just going to paint around the outside of this, just around the edge. Pop the pastry on top and just crimp it into place a little extra egg wash and pop it over the top and then take a sharp knife and I'm just going to make a couple of little slits in the top of my pie just to let the pressure out. Now you're going to want to have an oven that's preheated to 175 degrees Celsius, 350 Fahrenheit. I'm going to pop these in the oven now and we'll bake them for about 15 to 20 minutes until they're lovely and golden brown. Now I've gone for the full 20 minutes, the house smells gorgeous. I just want to show you how they should be bubbling and how all the syrups and mince meat should be trying to escape from within the pie. Now they are absolutely perfect. We're going to have to let them cool down a little bit and then we'll lift them out, pop them onto a rack to cool down completely and I'll dust them over with a little bit of icing sugar just for effect. I'm like a kid in a candy shop, the smell in here is so good. I'm gonna to have to try this, it might be a little bit hot. It's got that lovely powdered sugar on top, here goes. Mm. Oh man, oh, that's so good. I didn't overwork it, the pastry is absolutely melting in my mouth. 
These are Christmas to me. These are my favorite mince pies. They're not overly sweet, but they are delicious. I will do the shortbread, the sweet mince pies as well, probably in the next episode. So don't forget to keep a lookout for that. But if you get a chance, make these ones and share the love, share them with your family and friends and be good. I'll see you in the next episode. Take care. Thank you.